everyone, this is Dr. Maloney and I'd like to go over quickly pediatric dental injection techniques today. And today I have my lovely assistant Elena. Hi. I have my lovely assistant Bailey. Bailey say hi. And I have my lovely assistant Pablo. Okay. So what we're going to do today is go over a, a few key pointers in regards to giving safe injections. One of the first things you want to do is make sure you have the patient in a comfortable position in the chair. Okay. You want the patient's legs straight and you want them at their arms or on the belly button where they're comfortable. You do not want the patient's leg to be bent in any sort of way because if kids are bent like that, even though it may be comfortable for them, they can push off the chair. Okay, so very important because kids get their power from their knees. So you want to make sure they're straight, especially if somebody's assisting. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to put a rubber, a little rubber uh, bite block in the mouth. And of course, anything that goes in the mouth, we try to put a little floss on it, a very long fl uh, floss, just in case we have to grab it in case of emergency, especially with uncooperative children, anything in the mouth can be a potential choking hazard. So we're going to place this in real quickly and gently. Open a big belly. Good job. And then we're going to put that over to the side here. And second thing we're going to do is we're going to get my mirror. And with the mirror, you never want to put you want, never want to put anything in, the, in your fingers or anything in the patient's mouth. And my hand positioning is always underneath the chin here. You don't want to squeeze any soft tissues. You always want to guide the patient's face gently to where you want to go. And you always you can do that on the synthesis of the chin or the angle of the mandible. So you can always just gently lift like that. But you never want to pitch any soft tissues. And then what you want to do, say we're giving this side injection, you want to gently pull the cheek out. Now this does two things. Of course, it allows you to access what you're looking at, but also when, when the mirror is touching the gums, it gives a, a child a little bit of sensation, okay? And that's important because if you give them an injection and you're already touching the gums, they may, if you do it gently, they may not know the difference, okay? So we're going we're gonna to simulate, we're not going to give rejection. So we take this like so, okay? Everything's underneath the chin, and you can guard Elena. You cover the arms. And what Lena does is what we call uh, passive restraint. She doesn't necessarily hold the hands, but you want to make sure you avoid any, any inadvertent hand movement. And my hands can also act as a protective, just in case the kids are improper and the hands are moving up. So I have control of the patient's face, and I can also help guard the arms if I need to. So when we're injecting, you know, I can come from underneath the chin. I can come here for a lower injection. If I need to do an upper injection, same thing, we move, uh, open that big, 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 really good. I can move the shake away and I can come this way as well. The same thing works for blocks. But the important thing is to make sure you have access to the field and you make sure you're protecting the patient's arms. Open that big, big, big. Very often, very often kids can get hurt during injections, so it's very important to make sure nobody's pressing on the chest. You want to make sure if, if the patient wants cooperative, I can move in closely and give a gentle little hug so they're not moving their hand, their heads. You never want to press really, really hard, but you just want to have a little snug if the kids are moving around so you can give it safely. And again, just for illustration, if the kids are uncooperative, I can still use my mirror, I can come in closely, and I can just inject without too much head movement. And if they're really moving their arms, I can keep my arm here to protect as well. Okay? Notice that the the tip of the needle is away from the patient's face and down low here, so nobody gets poked. Okay, and then I come right in, inject, and remember you want to inject very, very slowly. Of course, sometimes uh, doing injections not what the patient wants, and it makes sense that you want to go really, really fast. But you want to go very, very slowly. When we inject the solution too quickly, the sometimes the kids feel the pressure and they react just from the pressure of the injection. Giving this slowly. They're already numb, and they don't really feel anything going on, for the most part, except what we call the yucky taste. Okay. So that's it in your review. So remember, you want to have a clear field. You want, to, you want to keep the patient's chin up in a gentle position. You want to bring from underneath, and make sure your arm can also act as a guard if the patient's uncooperative. The assistant comes over, and what we do, passive restraint, meaning she covers the arms. If the kids move, then she can switch to protective restraints when she actually gently holds the wrist. And remember, we're not squeezing, we're not pinching. Very often kids can get bruised or broken bones and things like that. So you want to do everything very slowly. Okay? Thank you. That's it. Bye-bye. And no kids were harmed in this video.